Hello, students. Welcome to the Department of Microbiology and Virology. I'm glad to read this lecture for you. The topic of our lecture today is introduction in the discipline and repeat a basic definition in biology. Today I will talk about general principles of microbiology, what the microbiology studies, position of the different microorganisms in the systematics of biology, what the shape of microorganisms, Classification of different shapes of bacteria. Are all bacteria so dangerous or not? How we classified it? What the requirement for laboratory to cultivate the various types of microorganisms? Let's start. I want to start the lecture from the definition. What the microbiology? Microbiology is the study of microscopic organisms, such as bacteria, viruses, archaea, fungi, and protozoa. This discipline includes fundamental research on the biochemistry, physiology, cell biology, ecology, evolution, and clinical aspects of microorganisms, including the host response to these agents. The microbes are so small and they can be everywhere. We can detect the microbes in the deep trench of ocean, in different layers of air. A lot of microorganisms are habitants of soil. They play an important role in ecosystem. Sometimes we have bacteria in our meals and every time on the household item. The functions of this bacteria are various, from parasitic function to synthesis of drugs and vitamins, and use it in, in the development of bacteria. We divided the microbiology in three big groups. Pure microbiology consisting bacteriology, mycology, protozoology, fecology, parasitology, immunology, virology, and other. Applied microbiology studying the microbiology in different focus in medical, pharmaceutical, industrial, microbial, food, agricultural, veterinary, environmental, and other. Modern uh, microbiology. Aster microbiology, nano microbiology, and predictive microbiology. The microbiology is known from ancient time, ancient time, sorry. Uh, Hippocrates developed miasma theory. The theory held that epidemics were caused by miasma emanating from the rotting organic matter. It means that diseases such as cholera, media, or the Black Death co were caused by miasma a noxious form of bad air, also known as night air. Gilarava Fracastoro wrote in his main work on contagion, contagious disease and treatment, he suggested that epidemics are caused by tiny particles, seeds, carried from the patient through direct, indirect, or even eye contact. Seeds in his term are closer to chemical and atomistic elements that to living things. In the Middle Ages, morphological period was started. This period is famous by creation of microscope by living hook. Dmitry Ivanovsky discovered viruses in the start of 20th century. 19th century was famous by two scientists. First is the Louis Pasteur, who studied principles of sterilization anaerobiosis, and second is Robert Koch, who discovered tuberculosis bacilli and developed the principles of isolation of pure culture in microbiology. Edward Jenner is the father of immunization. He started immunization against smallpox. Pasteur developed vaccine against rabies. Meknikov described phagocytic theory and theory of cellular immunity. Ehrlich start to talk about antibodies. From the end of 70 years of 20th century till present time, we have molecular genetic period, period of development, the principles of sequencing, PCR, recombinant strains, and gene engineering vaccine. In this slide, you can see the main terms in the biology. Biological systematic. It is the study of the diversification of living forms, both past and present, and the relationships 
among the living things through time. Relationships are visualized as evolutionary tree. Synonyms: cladograms, phylogenetic tree, phylogenies. Nomenclature is for formally governed by an array of rules and priorities promulgated by various and bodies, each concerned with a particular type of organism. Thus, bacterial names are regulated by International Committee on Systematic Bacteriology, which promulgates in the International Code of Nomenclature of Bacteria. Classification is the process related to categorization, the process in which ideas and objects are recognized differentiated and understood. Taxonomy is a science of biological classification, the grouping of organisms according to their natural affinities. Taxon is the group of one or more population of one organism or organisms seen by taxonomists to form a unit. By 1998, Kovalier Smith had reduced the total number of kingdoms from eight to six. Animalia, protozoa, fungi included glucophyte, red and green algae, chromista, and bacteria. He and his collaborator revised the classification in 2015 and published it. In this scheme, they reintroduced the division of prokaryotes into two kingdoms. Bacteria equals eubacteria and archaea equals archaeobacteria. This is based on the consensus in the taxonomic outline of bacteria and archaea and the catalog of life. On the right side of slide you can see the three domain system is biological classification introduced by Carl Wolf in 1990 that divides cellular life forms into archaea, bacteria, and eukaryotic domains. The key difference from early classification is the splitting of archaea from bacteria. Based on such RNA studies, Carwoos thought life could be divided in three large divisions and referred to them as the three primary kingdoms model or your kingdoms model. In 1990, the domain was proposed for the highest rank. Was divided the prokaryotes previously classified as the Kingdom Monera in two groups, called Eubacteria and Archaeobacteria, stressing that there was a much genetic difference between these two groups as between either of them and all eukaryotes. Both classification are used in present time. In this slide, you can see the basic scheme of modern classification. Many other levels can be used. Nomenclature classifies the microorganisms based on the biological position from the kingdom to species. Some species have subvariants according to the properties of shape, antigenic structure, cultivation, susceptibility to phage and ETC. Next slide is the basic terms in microbiology. First is genus. Genus is taxonomic category ranking used in biological classification that is below a family and above a special level and includes groups of species that are structurally similar or phylogenetically related. Population is summation of all the organisms of the same group of species. Bacterial culture method of multiplying microbial organisms by letting them reproduce in, in predetermined culture media by laboratory control. Strain is an organism or population of organisms distinguishable from the at least some of the other organisms or population within a given name taxon or within given category of organisms. The member of or cells or given strains are generally regarded as being genetically similar or identical. 
Clone is population of cell or organisms derived asexually from the single progenitor. A clone is generally assumed to be genetically homogeneous. Identification is the process of assigning a pre-existing taxon name to an, an individual organism. Classification of organisms to individual scientific name may be based on individualistic natural body features. Current system of nomenclature naming for organisms was established in the 1735 by Carlos Linnaeus. And we should start, uh, write the name of bacteria from the genus in the first name and is always capitalized and use specific epithet special name follows and is not capitalized. For example, a Shrihia coli. Next slide is classification of bacteria according to their morphology. Uh, divided in three big groups, spherical or cocos bacteria, rot and curved. Spherical classified by position in the smear. Monococci looks like single cells in the smear. Diplococci looks like a pair. Staphylococci looks like a grape clusters. Tetracoxi looks like a four cells together. Sarcina looks like four cells in the pockets. Streptococcus looks like a chain. Rochepid bacteria are classified like Cocobacillus, Palisades, Diplobacillus, Sporeformer, and Streptobacillus. Curved shaped of bacteria has various forms like coma, spiral, and twisted. Now we start to talk about dangerous of bacteria or pathogenicity degree. And the first slide about it is classification of microorganisms according to the pathogenicity degree by World Health Organization. Divided in four groups, these groups are created according to risk of individuals and public hazard, from low to high risk, including short characteristics of microbe. First risk group, characterized absent or low individual and public ha hazard. It means that microorganism is non-potentially a causative agent of human and animal disease. Second risk group, characterized by moderate individual hazard, low public hazard, means that a pathogenic microorganism can cause disease but doesn't pose a serious risk to personnel, the public, livestock, or the environment. Carelessness in the, in the laboratory can cause infection, but there are treatment and preventive measure available. The risk of spread is limited. Third risk group characterized high individual and low public risk. It means the pathogenic agent usually causes serious illness in humans or animals, but usually doesn't spread from the sick to healthy person. There are effective treatment and prevention procedures. Fourth risk groups are characterized high individual and high social risks. It means that pathogenic agent usually cause a serious illness in humans or animals and spread easily from sick to healthy person or indirectly. There are no effective measures in the most case. The classification of bacteria according to the pathogenicity degree in the Euro-Asian Economic Union is different and depends from the name of disease and name of the bacteria. And the risk of death is from high black death to low food poisoning disease caused by staphylococci. Next slide classification of viruses according to the pathogenicity degree. You can see the first pathogenicity degree, uh, smallpox virus, 
caused the smallpox. And fourth, adenoviruses cause the conjunctivitis or acute respiratory viral infection. How to work with microorganisms? What are the characteristics of room and its request? The structure of laboratory is different and depends on the type of microorganisms and its pathogenicity degree. When we should work with microorganisms of first and second group of pathogenicity, we should work in the laboratory divided in three zones. Clean zone consisting cabinet of head, shower room, toilet, room for administrative work, waterproof for outwear, and special uniform. Conditionally clean area consists room for preparation and bottling of nutrient media, autoclave, preparation sterilization room, storehouse, washing room. Contagious zone consists in rooms for receiving and processing biomaterial, room for bacteriological and serological investigation, room for express methods of diagnostic, ELISA room, autoclave, and two boxes with pre-box. In this zone, can, we can see contagious block for PCR, three boxes with pre-box, sample preparation area, reaction mixture preparation, and amplification and detection zone. Vivarium consists in dressing room, suit removal room, room for receiving and processing material, room for animals, room for infection and dissection and inoculation, and disinfection room. In the laboratory for working with the groups 3 and 4 of pathogenicity of the bacteria, the rules of the placement of room and division of zone are less strict. Clean zone for storage of material and cabinets for administrative work. Zone for isolation of different groups of bacteria such as intestinal group, drop, droplet infection, centribacteriology, uh, zone for PCR, and zone for sterilization and preparation of nutrient media. Structure of virological laboratory consists in two zones, clean zone for administrative work, staff room, preparation, sterilization room, washing room, autoclave, storehouse, and contagious zone for uh, receiving and processing primary samples, work with respira respiratory viruses, enteroviruses consist in boxes for infection of chicken embryo, tissue cultures, work with uh, reference strains and sanitary virology, uh, block for PCR, block for ELISA uh, test, room for tissue culture preparation, autoclave, and uh, sanitary checkpoint consisting water for outwear, uh, for uniform, for toilet and shower room. Structure of parasitological laboratory ha has two zones also. Clean zone for administrative work and zone for work with parasites. Uh, it means serological investigation, room for express methods, room for entomological investigation to study the insects. Now we complete the first lecture of introduction in discipline. Thank you for your attention.